What's happening, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. BYU men's basketball and women's basketball getting dubs and two players having career nights. Plus, mark your calendars for football. And what Instagram trend are we taking on? Let's go. A lot of good news to get this weekend going, starting with BYU men's basketball, who took down San Diego 93-70 to last night in the Marriott Center. With Yoli Child still out with an injury, big man Colby Lee stepped up, leading the team with a career high of 21 points. He also grabbed five rebounds. And let me tell you, The Rock was all about it. And so was Coach Pope. This guy never says a word. He doesn't say a word on the court in the locker room. Now he's a star. He's talking to everyone. Come on, we got to go. He deserves that support because he balled out. And so did the other guys as well, including five players who also scored in double digits. It was a great win. The energy in the Marriott Center was electric. But I'll get back to that. The team will head to Spokane to take on number one Gonzaga tomorrow. This is obviously going to be a tough game, but the team is fired up and ready to go. We're going in there to win. Like, and if, and if honestly, if anybody has doubt on our team, don't jump on that plane today. Seriously, stay here in Provo because we're taking dudes who want to go in there and win. How about some Kiki Karma as our Cougs take on the Zags? Again, the number one team in the country. I'm just like, Giving it all to them. Oh. You know who else got the dub yesterday? BYU women's basketball. The girls took down Pacific 76 to 66 in overtime. Paisley Johnson had a career high of 31 points and added five assists, two steals, two rebounds, and one block. The Cougars outscored the Tigers 12 to two in O. T. The team will head to California where they will take on St. Mary's tomorrow. Let's get some football in here because it's been a minute. Six BYU football players were invited to participate in postseason All-Star events. Micah Simon and Bo Tanner participated in the College Gridiron Showcase and Symposium from January 3rd to January 8th. On Saturday, Austin Lee will play in the East-West Shrine Bowl, while Diane Gonwoloku will be featured in the NFLPA Collegiate Bowl. And Aleva Hifo and Austin Cofenzas will participate in the Hula Bowl All-Star Game on Saturday, January 26. So mark your calendars for that. And keep them out, because the 2020 football game against Utah has been moved up two days to Thursday, September 3rd. Which means there's only 229 days till BYU takes on Utah in the season opener. Let's go. And how about a shout out to BYU Athletics. The Learfield Directors Cup Division I final fall standings are out and our Cougs finish ranked number five in the nation. Time for the highest fall ranking in school history. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen some of the new Instagram filters floating around. <laughs> There's also ones that measure someone's quality. So, in honor of last night's win, we're going to do a version of our own. I wonder what mine would be. I don't know. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us the follow, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good weekend. See ya.